Welcome back. We're here with Boston Mike from Saddlemeyer Smokehouse. So, Boston Mike, what are we making today? We're going to do a steak bomber. Nice. All right. Excellent. So, uh, how do we uh, prepare? What are we doing here? Okay. We first start off with some nice shaved ribeye. Oh, okay. That we take off the bone at the shop. We shave it on the uh, slicer. Okay. To make it like fine and right. moist. And then we toss it in a skillet. Well, actually, I do it on a flat top at the shop okay. because um, here at the studio, I got the flat pan butt. And then we have some uh, peppers, okay. which okay. we slice to the side. Right. Then you gotta get real nice and. Uh, oh, to put my hand in. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Dig it out. There <laughs> got you go. It, got it. Same with the onion. Excellent. You're gonna cross side the onion. Got it. And the okay. bread over here. We're just gonna give it a little slice down the middle. So if I wanted to do this at home and I don't have your fancy slicer for the meat, is it, what, what can, yeah. should I put it in a grinder? Can I put it? How would I do it? We could just. You could just go buy some typical ribeye and then. Um, just like get a cheese grater and just. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, real simple. Yeah. You can use okay. a cheese grater on meat. Cheese grater. Yeah. Cooked or raw? Yeah. Cooked. Uh, okay. Frozen. Frozen. <laughs> frozen. Okay, now frozen. that's important. Frozen yes. raw or frozen cooked? Frozen raw meat. Really? Yes. Oh, I would have oh, never yes. have done that. And then what we do is we just you can shave it up, and then as it's uh, frozen, it's gonna melt. As right. you're shaving, it's gonna get tender, and it's gonna basically look like that. Uh, yeah. yeah, what a great idea. Nearby. All right. That's so cool. then once you, have, once you have everything in the pan, everything's cooked up, what's we, next? We um, saute the onions, peppers, and mushrooms, right. which we just toss inside the pan. Okay. Get the... Now, are those are cooked mushrooms already? Or? No, they are not okay. cooked. I prefer okay. to use regular mushrooms oh, um, or the canned mushrooms if you prefer, like, gentlemen at home or okay. want to watch the football game or whatever, they want to be quick and simple. Mm -hmm. But I prefer the fresh mushrooms. Okay. This is a good football it game is really sandwich. Yeah, quick, this is that's perfect. a great idea. Quick and simple. Yeah, great idea. And oh, we also oh, do this as well. Instead of using the ribeye, I would use my smoked chicken that I put on the smoker for five hours okay. at a time. Oh, wow. And I actually pull the chicken. Okay. To no bones. And then right. I'll toss it in there instead of the... Instead of the steak. Instead oh, of the steak. Right, so yeah. you could do a, a chicken bomber. You could yeah. do a chicken bomber or, <laughs> and actually I just put this on the menu a month ago and it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. all right, so I we mean, need the onions, we need the peppers, we need the mushrooms. Is there any snare? Yes, just basic salt and pepper. Okay. Yes. Simple to your taste. I mean, some people like a lot of pepper, some people like a lot of salt. Well, Candace has a theory on what makes it so good, and it's yes. what sits exactly. right in front there. I was gonna say, I'm eyeballing the cheese. We think it's the cheese. <laughs> well, that. We think it's the cheese. And absolutely. Now, at the restaurant, we do provolone cheese. Okay. Yeah, that's what we thought so, that was. we like I mean, that idea. Super good. Provolone, again, to your liking. I usually do three oh. at the restaurant. Okay. Oh, there we go. So right in the pan. Right in the pan, okay. then you give it a little poke. What's and that it, for? Oh, that gives it the, the steam. It'll mm. um, give it some it. moisture. Oh, so it's going to melt right there It's going to melt right here, and then oh. you can either put a screen on it like this. Give it a second. Oh. Give it a second. Oh. All right, I like that. While we give that a second, I want to take a quick little tour about some of the, uh, nothing little about all the other things that you've got going on at Stottlemyers. Okay. Cornbread, tell us about the meats. Okay, we're going to start over here with our fried chicken, which Steve did in the Texaco gas station years ago. And right. now we <laughs> created it over here, and it's, like, really good. Um, Very known our, for your chicken. Yes. Then we have our long bone ribs okay. with our baked wow. beans, mm. which is pork baked beans, all homemade. And then we also have uh, chicken wings, which is great for football. Yeah. Yep. And uh, smoked chickens are good. All right. And Stottlemyre's a great place to sit out this time of year oh, and yeah. enjoy the patio. I know you often have live music out there. Yes, ma'am. Every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, oh. Great place awesome. to go, especially with the temperatures being a little cooler. Sitting yes. outside doesn't get better than that. Well, in case you've never known before, in Boston, it's a bomber. Us Philly people, Penn State people, we called them cheese, cheese steaks. Cheese but steaks. Same, same concept, thing. right? <laughs> yeah, same basic idea. And then as this is simmering, you would like to have your uh, bread in the oven toasted a little, get a yeah. little heated up. All right, well, and we're going to need to see a final product yeah, here because we are see. running out of time. So okay. Boston Mike's going to put the finishing touches on the bomber. You can go see him at Stottlemyers. Will and Candace, great to have you both with Thank us. Thank you very much. Take some time. Here. Enjoy the Suncoast view.